Welcome to the Client Generation Podcast, a show where we interview some of the most successful people in real estate to help you understand how to generate leads, build a brand, and convert more clients in your business. What's up, everybody? Grant Wise here. Welcome to the Client Generation Podcast. Excited today to be joined by uh, just an absolute legend, one of my dear friends. I got Mr. Josue Soto, the CEO of the Soto Legacy Group out of Orlando, Florida on, and I am pumped to have a conversation today with you, my man. How are you? Everything's great, man. Thanks for asking, Grant. Thank you for uh, inviting me into your podcast, man. Appreciate you always. Uh, yeah, man. I'm excited to, to jump on and have a conversation. So let's give everybody a little bit of the backstory, man. Who are you and how'd you get to where you are today? Well, my name is Josue Soto. I run the Soto Legacy Group uh, together with my wife. Prior to um, creating, you know, being part of the Soto Legacy Group, we own our brokerage for 10 years, which was uh, Equity One Realty. We started in the industry back in 2006 when the market was crashing. We actually decided to come into real estate and, uh, you know, we ran um, for, for a couple of years. We were part of a small little brokerage, boutique brokerage friend of ours. And we just became, uh, uh, you know, we started growing our business with short sales and REOs. Um, we, in 2010, 2011, we decided to open up Equity One Realty, man. And we've been, we're in the top one, two percent of our market out of 23,000 agents here in Central Florida um, for years. But, uh, you know, right now we decided, you know, we needed something bigger. We needed to align ourselves with an organization that was going to help us take us to the next level, man. And about 18 months ago, we decided to make the move together with some other major partners in our own backyard to form an alliance called the, um, well, Alliance. We're known as the Global Alliance with EXP Realty now. And um, each of, each and every one of us have our own teams and our own our own organizations, but we all work together, man, as one you know, and help each other, leverage each other. And right now we're the fastest growing, fastest growing um, organization within EXP right now, as far as percentage wise, awesome. under 100 Badger Nation with Jay Kinder and Mike Maurice. So it's been a blessing, man. I love it, man. That's awesome. You've been in the business now a long time. You've been through a couple of weird markets, yeah. you know, being in since 06. What are some of the biggest changes you've seen over the last, uh, you know, few years as far as getting business and growing a real estate business because you coach people quite a bit. Yeah, I, I can tell you this, Grant, you know, what's t right now, if you haven't made the change or the trans, uh, the slight change in your business when it comes to uh, social marketing, you know, just being more present in front of people, um, you're going to be left behind, man. You know, our market, uh, if you look at our industry as a whole, our industry, you know, just think about this. Um, what happened uh, almost a year ago with, with this uh, COVID situation, if you're not able to really be in front of people, for in, in front of your clients and show who you really are, uh, you're going to be, feel, you're going to feel lost in this industry, man. You know, if you look back at how it was back in when we started like 15 years ago, you can see the transition. You can see the changes coming on little by little as years were progressing. And that's why we actually made the changes to uh, EXP because we noticed that, you know, we kept, Man, I mean, honestly, Rebecca says the best. We were like a hamster in a hamster wheel, just rolling. And, you know, even though we were top producers for many, many years and every year to come, we still are. But, man, we could never go over that hump, man. We were just always at that sit at that line that we could never go over it, man. And we just had to figure out what was the best strategy, best, best alignment that we had to do that was going to be able to take us there. And, and I tell you, the changes are right in front of us, man. I mean, I really truly believe that the norm is here. I don't think it's going to go away that quick. And um, if you're not um, together or aligned with uh, someone that's going to help you build your, build your, um, your brand, that's what it is. Let's talk about that. Your brand itself, then um, you're going to be left behind, man. I'll be honest. I speak, I speak from the heart. You know, I am. You know? Yeah. So what do you feel like are some of the best things to do today to build a brand socially? Uh, first of all, you got to, um, you, you really have to, people get, need to know who you are. Let's just say that. Not, not you as your brand, as you, who you are. Like, if you're going to be part, if you, if you want to know about the Soda Legacy Group, you're going to know what our core values are. We're very given. We're, we're humble. We're technology savvy. We're, we're, you know, I can go on and on with our core values. But everyone that, uh, that's, every one of my agents and everyone that um, we work with, they know who we are. So um, we have to be able to understand and express who we are. As, as a whole, not just individual, as a whole that sits under the, and one of the things that, that really resonates in all of us is Facebook, Instagram, 
YouTube. I mean, if you have to, you have to know and how to integrate all this into your business. If you do not know, you need to align yourself with someone that do know how to help you. Because I can tell you this right now, Grant, even though we're in this, we don't really know how long this, this situation is going to last, you know? Mm -hmm. So if we're not able to continue preparing ourselves for what's coming or what has come already, then you're, you're going to be in a tough situation, man, you know, because I don't really see this moving along that fast. I really feel like what, what's occurred right now within our country or within the world right now, um, we're able to reach out our audience a lot more quicker now than what we did before. And mm -hmm. that's because of the, 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 the partners that we aligned ourselves with, like yourself and some other partners that we have right now. And if we would have never thought about this years ago, you know, and be prepared for what's, what's occurring right now, then it would have been a little tougher to be starting now and right in the middle of something, you know? So, never so, that I, so that everybody has some context, when you say what's going on right now, what are you referring to? Are you, uh, COVID. <laughs> COVID. Talking about the pandemic, yeah. Okay. Yeah, the yeah, pandemic. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're talking about the pandemic. When you think about it right now, that with this pandemic, man, if we would have never been um, tech in, in, in our audience presence prior to this, I think that, you know what, as a state, we've gotten lucky because we were essential, you know, Florida, but not every other mm -hmm. state was that lucky you understand right. yeah. so if you look at the individual that were not lucky but still were able to stay in front of their audience and still been able to work their business even through their own their own home offices they're the ones that's going to succeed in the market that we're in yeah because if you look at everyone else that has not doesn't have the presence or the knowledge or where they want to go with their business as far as technology itself or social presence then man, you're, you're in it for a big situation right now, man, because I don't big see surprise for sure. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I, I, what I don't see going away is the disruption because exactly. you know, the, the pandemic was a certain degree of disruption, but really ultimately the real estate industry thrived. Oh, yeah. Like you said, some of my greatest friends in the industry sold more real estate than they ever sold over and above people that Absolutely. didn't have great social presence, didn't have good brands, didn't have good video strategies, mm -hmm. stuff like that. But when you look at the continued disruption that will come, the Zillas of the world and those types of Absolutely. things. Absolutely. Do you feel like what you're talking about with having a great brand presence, social strategy, those types, do, you, do you feel like that gives you an advantage still yet with some of this technology disruption that's happening? A hundred percent. A hundred percent. Why? Because we were prepared for what's what, with all these market changes. It's like I tell my agent, don't let this disrupt you. We're, we're the disruptors. You mm -hmm. know, we, we, we had, uh, we were two steps ahead of what's, what's occurring right now. Why? Because we prepared this. We prepared for what's happening right now. A couple of years ago, when you look at our brokerage and our, our, uh, as a whole, we, we weren't disrupted by this because we were prepared for something like this already. So mm -hmm. why we were able to strive in the market that we're in as a whole, as a company itself, and as a brokerage and as team leaders and as individuals were because we were already prepared for this. So there was no threat to us, you know right. that? So that's why we were able to shatter the records and, and do more sales and, and continue growing our business because you know what? We were prepared for what's occurring, Grant. Not How many people were. How can somebody take this moment right now and start to prepare? What would you tell somebody to do today to start, you know, go back to where you were a couple of years ago. What actions did you take? Give me the blueprint. Tell me the, tell me the few things right. I need to do. What, what are the thing? The first action that I took was that I stuck was I knew that I had to align myself that someone was going to help me burn, build my brand itself. Sometimes we try to do things on our own, but there's much more than that guys, you know? So that's when you came in. You know, and you were, we were able to sit down, wow, three years ago almost, when you think about it. <laughs> and I was able to, you, you were able to understand where we wanted to go, you and your mm -hmm. company. And be, able to, and be able to understand that, okay, in order for you get, to get here, we need to take these steps. And we were able to follow those steps and continue growing with those steps. You understand? And I think sometimes we try to do things on our own. And in reality, yeah, you know what? Kudos to who, who's done it on their own. But I can tell you this right now, with, with all these changes in our social media platforms, you need to be aligned with people that already are experiencing this. And what yeah. I mean by that is with all these changes with Facebook, IG, YouTube, uh, TikTok is lucky right now, but I guarantee the changes are coming soon with the algorithms yeah. and everything. So if you're not prepared for this, I would feel this is what I tell my agents and I tell everyone. Take advantage of your in it right now because this is this will change eventually, you know. 
Let's go back a couple of years ago, just because I want to be super tactical here. For what yeah. steps did I give you that you felt like, okay, I'm going to do so? Do you, if you remember, if, if yeah. you don't, it's fine. Sure. But what steps should an agent take socially? You know, if we go back to that conversation you and I a few years ago, mm-hmm. what did I tell you to do that you were like, okay, we're going to start doing it, and then and ultimately it worked. What was hey, that? man, I can tell you this right now: video content, man. You got to get in front of the camera. Yeah, there we go that's a big thing for sure that's a big thing if you're not listen i can tell you this right now i was one of them i can speak in front of you know you already know that in front of anyone but i I was like stage fright in front of the camera you put that camera in front of me and it's like i I turned like pale but i had to realize that you know what to be uncomfortable uncomfortable brings growth and in order for me to fight through that through that fear of mine to be able to go where i'm going i had to fight through that fear so video content is the number one thing. Then you have to understand what your brand is. That's what you always, you always pray right. up. You always tell us, okay, tell me what you, what, what do you want? What do you want to put out there? What, who are you guys? You know, be the community leader, be the, the, that community um, leader in your own community. During COVID, I mean, one thing that you always told them was, hey, tell me what, how your neighbors are feeling. Go out there and tell me how your, your local restaurants are doing. That's what I did. I went out there and I started interviewing my barber that's been my barber for 26 years. I went in there and I did a video and I tell you, that thing went viral. And all I did was highlight him and, and how important it is to support, support our, 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 our small businesses and everyone else. And that was one of the, that's, that's, you bring, you, you bring out the best of us, Grant, and what you, you gave us the blueprint on how to be successful in social media. So if you're able to understand what Grant and, and um, Whitley is giving you, and take advantage of all these educational videos and everything that we're, you guys are able to provide to us, then you're going to grow your business. There's no excuse why you shouldn't, mm-hmm. you know, your presence so, will be seen. So what I hear you saying is that it was really important a to just get in the habit of, you know, creating content, putting out videos and, and, and using um, some advertisements to promote that. So you get some of that virality, but more so to understand first, like, who do I want to be? Who do I want to be known? What do I want to be known for? You know, who am I trying to market to? You know, who are these videos even for? And really when you are able to hone that in, you know, creating those videos maybe even gets a little easier. Yeah, absolutely. You know what? And I'm glad you brought that up because that's exactly what what I'm trying to say. And another thing, what I realized too, Grant, is too many people try to bring, um, show too much of themselves. You understand? I show their brand. Be yourself, man. Show show who your every day. The highlight, hey, today I'm I'm spending some time with my kids. Or tomorrow I'm out um shopping with my wife. You know, people you, you gotta switch it up. It can't be the same routine. And this is what's gonna show who you guys really are as a brand, you know? And that's what I that's what Rebecca and I did. You know, we were able to go out there and be ourselves. At the same token, we're CEOs of a company, but at the same token, we're having, we have a normal life too. We have kids, we have grandkids. We, we know what it is to, uh, at every day, how important it is to be a parent or, and be a grandparent. So highlight everything, you know, because everything is content. If you know exactly where you want, what kind of content you need to build, then trust me, it'll all come together, you know? And I feel like sometimes when you being yourself, people get to understand you and know you better. That's what we learned. Yeah. Video content does a lot in the way of helping you create leverage in your relationship building, because traditionally, if I was going to build a relationship with somebody, I would do it one-to-one, right? You you and I would just connect over long periods of time. But today we can create relationships with a lot of people at the same time by creating a little bit of content. You know, everybody says it's like a lot. I got to create all this content. It's like, well, no, really it's like 1% of your day, (laughs) but it's just this tiny point in your day, you know, if you looked at the end of the day, probably you might have created 10 minutes of content, but it felt like it took hours and hours. Hours, really, hours. It yep. took a few minutes. But how important is it to do that and to do it consistently? Because I would imagine if you just did it a couple times, you probably wouldn't have had the same effect. No, it, it has to be every day. I'll be honest with you. Even, you know, sometimes what we try to do right now is we try to build 30 days of content. So what we do is if I have to go into the studio or just build 
uh, go in the studio and do seven seven different videos, right? And then just take small take small clips of that and do one minute videos from those clips. But at the same token, leverage that one minute with that one or two minute video. That's what we try to do now. You know, people. I think sometimes we overthink it, Grant. And I'm talking that on the business level, but on the personal level, man, you can. It'll take you less. Honestly, the way I see it is sometimes we we're our own we're our own enemies. Sometimes we feel like that's going to take all day. It may take only 10, 15 minutes of your schedule. What we try to do is what I try to do is I launch my. We try to schedule hours from eight to nine in the morning or seven to nine. Why? Because people are driving to work. So let's be honest with you. People are on Facebook at that time, or five to six or six to seven in the evenings, they're coming home from work, you know, or they're home already, they open their phones. So it's all about timing, man. You know, I try not to post too much during the day. I do maybe once if I have to, but I try not to, you know, maybe once or twice a day, that's all you need, man. How important has, I get the organic side, but how important has paid ads been to your business in the last oh. few years? Oh, that's a substantially, it's, it's, it's grown my business by 10, 20%. Man. Has to. You have to stay in front of, and you have to be in, in front of and present with the consumer. And what I mean by that is if you're able to set your, your, your videos and retarget each one, one, one from another, trust me when I tell you guys, I have clients that call me, it's like, Hey man, your face keeps popping up on my social media. Mm -hmm. And it's because that's the way we, that's the point of it. You know, you got to <laughs> right. stay in front of the, you got to stay in front of the consumer. And I'm going to tell you why there's so much competition. You mentioned something earlier with the Zillows, with the realtor.coms, with everyone, you know, let's be honest with you. Our, our consumers, our, what I mean by consumers, our buyers and sellers in our day are very smart. Everything is on their hands. It's, it's, which is right now the, com the computer, the computer, or the phones. So you can go in there you can start evaluating whatever you want to look at or what, how much your property is worth. You can do your own homework. But when you're able to stay in front of them and, and be that, that source for them, they know who they're going to call prior to doing anything. So that's, yeah. that's our goal. I said, not, this is not going to be for everyone, but they're going to see whole swing Rebecca in their face as much as they can. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's really powerful when you get leads coming into your business and then you start, like you're talking about remarketing, and you, every day. It's every like clockwork. Day. You're just yes. showing up in front of those people. And some people may buy from you in a week, some people a month, some people a year. Year. But you've got content that's out there every day when you don't maybe feel like creating videos. You got stuff that's just living in front of those people. That's really cool. Yeah. Uh, it's like right now I have a partner that we, he has like 35 videos. I'm not kidding you. One second, 60 second videos. And I told him, hey, we're going to leverage that. Every, mm -hmm. every, every month I just drop a new one. I'll just drop a new one. It's, it's all about things that, you guys, you have taught us and your team have taught us to do. And mm -hmm. like I can tell you, it, video and mark and, 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 and consistency, is, it, it brings value if you follow, mm -hmm. if you follow the plan. Mm -hmm. If you don't follow the plan, you're going to fall off, guys. And I know it seems like a lot of work, but it's not a lot of work, you know? Yeah. And the good part is I've had that support from you and your whole entire team, you know, in all these years. And I love – that's why I, I'm here with you because I know what, you, what, what, what value Whitley and your whole entire team have brought to my, 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 not only my partner, but my whole entire team, you know, so. We're talking about teams here. How has social media, branding, video, how has that helped you guys build a team? Because when you started, when we started working together a few years ago, yep. uh, you didn't really have, you know, a big team or anything like that. But how, how is getting a lot of this stuff really dialed in? How has it helped you guys from an EXP aside? How has it helped you build a team? Um, social presence. They've seen who we are. They got to know who we are. If you go and our, honestly, you'll see our, our intro video alone. It's, mm -hmm. Our intro video is basically, we were ourselves. We explained who we are with a solo legacy group, Rebecca and I. And we, and, you know, it's all about the culture. So when you're able to see and understand, when you open up that Facebook page and you see who Rebecca and Josue Soto, you're going to understand that, you know what, these are normal human beings. They're very caring. They're very loving. So when we were able to showcase who we are as a team and as the CEOs and team leaders within our, within our team, that's how you grow. Your, honestly, we don't chase anyone. We're not that type of team. People mm -hmm. come to us because they see the value of what they get in us. You know that? I truly believe that when you're able to focus on you and what the quality and your social presence, and not only that, what you bring to the, the agents and what you can, what you grow, what you can build them to, that's what they're looking at nowadays. I truly believe it's not about the money anymore, Grant. It's about the value you can bring to them. Yeah. 
I don't think it's been about the money for a long time, for sure. Because no, I was, I you know, I traveled the country recruiting when we had a brokerage back in like 2011, 2012. Mm -hmm. And one of the most fascinating things that I learned throughout that time is that people didn't care about making more money. They cared about learning how to make more money, which was such a simple distinction. It was like, man, I'm showing these guys how they could just do the, the same thing they did last year and make $50,000 more. It wasn't about that. It was about yeah. learning yeah. how to make $50,000 more. And Absolutely. I think there's a lot of power in that. So man, from what I'm taking away from this conversation is that you need to know who you are and you need to know who you want to work with and you need to create content that's a reflection of really what you want to become known for in the marketplace. And that Absolutely. really is kind of the secret weapon there for building up a big business. And that's exactly how it is. You gotta, you gotta first of all, analyze and see who you, where, where you want to go, who you are, what kind of value you want to bring, and um, then from there, you, I mean, honestly, the, the, to me, that's the hardest, Grant. Once you understand that, and you and you truly believe in in your core and your foundation, everything else just keeps growing. Give, you know, give give me a couple of uh, action steps. What are what are one or two things I can do? to gain a better understanding of who I am and what I want to be known for. Okay. First of all, you start off what market you want to touch. Think about what consumer you want to touch. Understand that. Do you want to work in a home to a home, uh, uh, new home buyers or you want to work with a high end market? You need to understand what type of value you're going to bring into where you are, where you want to target. You understand? And, and evaluate yourself and say, okay, who am I? And what am I going to bring to this person or bring to this salesperson? or bring to this buyer. So that's where your core value begins. It all begins with your core value. And when people see or start understanding you as a person, as a team leader, understand what kind of value you're gonna to bring to that seller and the buyer, then you're gonna you're gonna be able to, you're gonna be able to sell yourself to that person. Mm -hmm. See, if you don't know exactly what Josue wants or Rebecca wants, then how are you gonna be able to sell yourself? Let's mm -hmm. start off with that. You know, and I, I mean, you mentioned that so, so many times, you know, everyone know Grant Wise. Why? Because Grant, Grant is this person. Everyone knows Soto Legacy Group is because they're this, they're, they're this group. So mm -hmm. it all starts with that. Then you, then you focus on the next step. The next step is aligning yourself with the right people to take you to where you want to go. Because mm -hmm. I tell you this right now, if you're trying to do it on your own, it's not that easy. I tried that for many years. It didn't work. And it wasn't until I figured it out, I said, okay, now it's time. And the line, and one most important, Grant, is you need to know your business plan. If you don't know where you want to go in the next one, three, five, ten years, then you need to focus on that. Mm. Once you, once you can, what we did was we went up to 10 and worked ourselves backwards. Some yeah. people just go that one. No, I went to 10 and worked myself backwards. And then I figured out that if I, in order for me to shorten that 10 to five, then I had to make the moves. You understand? I had to pour more into here, pour more into here. Understand this, rework this. See, I think the biggest mistake that in our industry that I've seen a lot of uh, agents making is that they don't understand that. They don't know. They don't, they don't understand that meaning. And I know, I understand. That's why I'm here. That's why I pour so much into agents that in reality, as a whole, the community, I mean, you and I have done these events. I don't get, I don't personally, if I don't get nothing out of that, and as long as I'm able to bring value, to our community and what I mean by our realtors and everyone else, that's, that's my satisfaction. I feel like that's what we're all called for, mm -hmm. you know? And I want to pour more into our community. Why? Because I never had that. It wasn't until I was able to take a step back and understand what it takes to get where we're at now, you know? Mm -hmm. And what, and I shared this at the, at our last event is I was a broker owner for 10 years. And I can tell you this right now, no one knew my company name. Mm. But they yeah. knew Rebecca and whole sway. Right. And I'm talking my own clients. But if you ask them, well, what's the name of their company? Oh, I don't know. But now, but now they know. Why? Because we were able to put all this together. It took years. But now they know who we are. Oh, that's the Soul Legacy Group. That's who they are. You know, so I tell you, start from there. I love it, man. Such an incredible conversation. Thank you so much for stopping by and sharing some of your insight, man. It's been fun to watch you and Rebecca do your thing over the last few years, and it's definitely been exciting to be able to participate. So thank you guys for giving us yeah. that opportunity. Thank, thank you, Greg, your whole entire team. Man. Absolutely. What's the best way that somebody maybe listening to the podcast today could reach out and connect with you? 
Oh, absolutely. You can reach out to us at uh, www.sololegacygroup.work or sololegacygroup.com or you can uh, contact me on uh, my direct line is 321-945-8315. Love it. We'll make sure that we link up all the ways that you guys could connect with Josue in the show notes. Josue, my man, thank you again for being on the show. Really valuable, very insightful, and I appreciate it. Thank you guys for thank listening you. to this episode of the Client Generation Podcast. We'll see you on the next show. Peace. Thank you for listening to this episode of the Client Generation Podcast. Please make sure that you rate and review this episode so that we can continue to bring you more incredible guests to help you grow your business. Thanks and have an amazing day.